Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning else statements. So let's get into it. Okay, everybody. So in the previous tutorial, we made a magic eight ball using user input variables um, and if statements. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, we're going to be tagging an else statement onto an if statement. So let's go ahead and open our PHP tags and close them. Let's actually make this a little smaller here. And we also are going to need some user input. So let's go ahead and create our HTML page. And I will name this else. And we'll start with the HTML. So we're going to open a form. So form action equals double quotes tut dot php because if you remember tut is what we named the file method is going to be post now we're going to create an input form input type equals double quotes equals text name uh, we'll name that UR for uh, sorry UI for user input, and placeholder will be enter text here. Add a couple of line breaks. Input type equals submit. So save that, and if we go into our tut.php, we have our enter text here and our submit button. So now let's get into our PHP. So there's several examples I'm going to try to use in this. Okay, let's get into our PHP. So the first thing we wanna do is check to see if our UI field has been submitted. So if is set dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quote, UI, and not, exclamation mark is not in PHP, empty, brackets again, dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quote, UI, and then open our curly braces. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna create a variable called UI equals dollar underscore post, square brackets, and UI. Okay, so now that that's done, within this uh, PHP statement, what we'll do is we'll create another if statement, and we'll say if num not equal to one, then our curly braces again, echo the number is not one. Now, after the curly bracket here, now what we're gonna do is we're actually, you know what? Let's uh, test that first. So we're gonna enter two. Hit submit, undefined variable num, line seven. Oh, I named it UI. Okay, so let's try that again. There we go, the number is not one. So now if we enter one, we won't, We shouldn't have gotten that. Okay, that's why. So I shouldn't have done a double equal there. I should have only done the single, that's my mistake. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've said, if the number is not one, echo out, number is not one. But what if the number is one? So that's where the else statement comes in. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type in else and we're going to say echo the number is one. And we'll refresh this. We'll type in one. The number is one. Let's zoom in here. The number is one. So we'll type in two again. The number is not one. So what we can do here is we can say, we'll keep the HTML the same. We'll say if UI is not equal to Zach, 
your name is not Zach. Else, Echo, you must be very good looking. Okay. Type it, Adam, your name is not Zach. Zach, you must be very good looking. So you can kind of use that. Um, essentially, it's a true or false statement again. Um, PHP is largely true or false uh, statements. So you can kind of build off of this and um, do what you want to do. So um, something else you could do, let's add another input field. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, um, I never, ever, ever encourage you to create a login form like this, but let's use this as an example here. Um, we'll change this to enter username and we'll call this, uh, we'll leave that as UI, that's fine. Uh, input type equals password name equals PWD placeholder equals password. Now we will create, oops, two line breaks and we will hit uh, value login. So now if we refresh this, enter username, enter password. So I need to go up here. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of everything except for this part of code here. Um, and is set. dollar underscore oop, dollar underscore post uh, PWD and not empty and not empty dollar underscore post uh, PWD so what we're gonna do here is we're going to say you uh, UI equals dollar underscore post UI PWD equals dollar underscore post PWD. So now to make sure we did that correctly, let's go ahead and echo out both of those test and password test password. Got it. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement in here. If <clears throat> UI equals, uh, let's say admin and PWD equals password echo correct. else echo try again. Okay, so admin password, try again. Uh, oh, I did a capital, that's why. Password, here we go, correct. So essentially what you could do there is you could, instead of having an echo correct, you could do, uh, we'll, we'll get more into this later, but you could do something like header, header location tut.php exit. So admin password. And it just refreshed the page because uh, I set the header to um, back to the page where we were working on. So uh, you could have like an admin panel or like a dashboard or something like that. So, um, you know, so instead of refreshing, if you entered incorrect information, try again. So again, I can't stress this enough. Do not create a login like this. We'll, we'll get into MySQL later. Um, I actually already have a couple of tutorials on that. So if you want to go and take a look at my channel, you can find those. Um, however, if your server is compromised and you do it like this, then you're 
information is right here, clear as day. So anybody can look at the PHP file and you know, figure out how to get into your admin panel. So don't do that. So that's going to wrap up uh, this tutorial on else statements. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next tutorial.